If you're using ServiceNow in your environment, you're probably very familiar with how it manages your IT assets and customer service requests. But did you know you can integrate it with Nutanix Crossplay in order to automate incident reporting and resolution? Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, a technical marketing engineer here at Nutanix, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up Nutanix Crossplay and the ServiceNow Flow Designer to set up an automation process that will respond to Nutanix alerts and take necessary action. Let's get started. So we'll start by creating two playbooks in Prism Central. So we'll navigate to Operations Playbooks and click on Create Playbook. The first playbook will be triggered by any alert and will perform the built-in send alert to ServiceNow action with this alert. In order to use this built-in action, you'll have to have the event management plugin enabled on the ServiceNow instance and just provide your ServiceNow uh, instance name, username, and password. And then we'll save and enable this playbook. The second playbook we'll create will be triggered by a webhook and the action we'll want to take is to add memory to our VM. The target VM will be specified in the webhook body as entity one, and we'll specify how much memory to add and what the maximum limit should be. We'll save and enable this playbook, and then we'll drill into it to see the details. Now within the playbook, we can see the webhook details. So we can see that Prism Central expects a post call on this URL with uh, the body that will contain the information on the um, entity to act on. So we have entity one here, and we can see that the values um, that go with it are the type, which will be a VM type, the name of the VM, and the UUID of the VM. So that's all the configuration we need to do for Prism Central. So let's jump over to the ServiceNow side. Now I'll first just double check my credentials. You'll need to have your credentials set up into your Prism instance. We have our basic auth set up. We have an alias that we'll use in a little bit. And now we need to set up an event rule. And the reason we need to do this is because the alert data that will be received will have the VM UUID embedded with other information. So we have to extract it. We're also filtering by a particular metric name, which will be passed along. So if we sent the alert to ServiceNow right now, it would be in the following format with the metric name as one of the default fields, along with the resource, which will contain the VM name, and the VM UUID would be part of the additional information field along with other values. So we're transforming the output to put the VM UUID value in the description. Now we can create our action and our flow. We'll launch Studio and create a new application file and search for action. We'll call it REST API and we'll enter in our three inputs that are going to be required for this action to uh, be triggered. And these will line up with the, um, the values or the, the key value pairs in our webhook. And then we can construct the rest call. So we can use that credential alias we saw earlier. We're going to use a mid server um, in our demo because our Prism Central is in a private network. And then we can get the URL from our webhook and start constructing the API call. So it's going to be uh, HTTP POST method. Let's just verify our headers. We want the content type um, application JSON. That's what Prism Central will expect. And we can copy the body uh, into the request field. Now we don't need all of the fields here, so I'm just going to take out what we don't need. So we just need the webhook ID, which is a unique ID that was generated as part of the playbook and entity one, which will be our VM that we're going to add memory to. And for these three variables, we'll drag and drop our input variables, type, name, and UUID. So now we can save our action and we can go ahead and test this out. So if you click on test, we'll type in, or we'll put in the type, we'll hard code that to VM, and we'll get a, a VM from uh, Prism Central to use in our test. So we'll choose the Linux server VM. We can see that it has two gigs of memory at the moment. And then we can get the UUID uh, from NCLI. Now, of course, all this information will be available as part of the alert um, during the automation process. So this is just something we need to do for the test. So 
So we can see that the test was successful. So it actually called into our webhook, which will have actually triggered our playbook. And jumping back into Prism Central, we will see that our playbook was triggered because we have now an additional gigabyte of memory on our server. And we can verify that the playbook played correctly by drilling into the playbook and clicking on plays. And we can see that the memory was added. Now that our test was successful, let's go ahead and set up the flow. So a flow in service now is very similar to a playbook in Prism Central, where we're going to have both um, a trigger and an action. So in this case, we're going to be triggering um, on a new record being created in the alert table. And we'll again filter by uh, the particular metric. And then our action will be the new action that we just created. And the type name and UUID, this is where the event rules come in. So we can see the name will be available in uh, the resource field. And the UUID is now available in the description field since we did that um, event rule. Now we can go ahead and save the flow, activate it, and we can now perform an end-to-end -end test. So I'm gonna come back to my Linux server and I'm going to um, induce load on it using the stress tool, which will in turn invoke an alert, which will get sent to the ServiceNow alerts table as part of our first playbook. And then the flow that we've set up will be triggered by this alert and call back into our webhook, which will invoke our second playbook and increase the memory of our VM. So this will take a few minutes to ramp up and invoke the alert. And once it's done, we can see that our memory usage has been um, spiked to 90%. Our memory is now at four gigs. So it looks like the playbook um, triggered. We can see the alert there in the taskbar. And again, we can jump into the playbooks and take a look at the play and make sure that it was successful. And so we can see, again, the VM add memory was triggered uh, from our automation process this time. We can also see this on the ServiceNow side, so we can see details about the flow execution by clicking on the Executions button, where we can get details about the alert that triggered the flow, as well as details about the flow itself, which uh, made the webhook call. So as you can see, you can leverage Nutanix crossplay functionality to automate tasks within Prism from an external application such as ServiceNow. For more information on Nutanix crossplay and to get hands-on with creating your own playbooks, be sure to check out the Nutanix test drive for AI ops and automation by navigating to nutanix.com/testdrive and clicking on the AI ops and automation tab. Thanks for watching.